Hey YouTube, it's Dream Projects right here, and today I'll be showing you how to create a new Gmail account. And remember, it's for Gmail. So first of all, go to Sign in Google Accounts. So you want to search that up, Sign in Google Accounts. Once you type that in, click Enter. It'll show this, or and. It'll show a bunch of other things like this. But you want to click on over here, sign in. Over here, it'll say so Google, sign in. Use your Google account, email or phone. Forgot email, not your computer. Use guest mode to sign in privately. Learn more. Create an account, next. So what you want to do is click create an account. You can click for myself or to manage my business. If you want to create one for yourself, then click for myself. Type in your name, and then type in your last name. And then type in any username for your email you want. You can type in things such as this. Once you turn on, once you do your password after, like this, you have to confirm it again by typing the same password again. Once you do that, click next. It'll say the username's taken. Try another. Sometimes that happens if someone else already has your Gmail username. So what you want to do is type in a different username that's available. It will give you some names that are available, but you can choose some. Anyways, you can do any random um, username, but sometimes, but most of the times actually, since there are a lot of people in this world who have a Gmail, your username will be taken. So if I want to do this, Google suggested it, and it said, please choose a stronger password. Try a mix of letters, numbers, and symbols. So my password was Ronnie at four. Oopsie. Now that, it said, please choose a stronger password. Try a mix of letters and numbers and symbols. So I'm going to type in a different password. It said confirm password because I forgot to confirm it. Now I typed in a password. It said this, ronnie974 at gmail.com. Now remember that because that will be your Gmail. And you can't change it later. If you want to change it, then you'll have to create a new Gmail. So basically you can't change it at all. So this is, we'll use your number for account security. It won't be visible to others. So you can choose, so you can enter your phone number. It's optional, so you don't have to. And then you have to recover, you have to enter a recovery email address, and it's also optional. We'll use it to keep your account secure, says Google. So what a recovery email address is, is that if you forget your um, email or your password, which is this, this is your email, if you forget your password for that and, or your email, then It'll ask for your recovery email address and it'll send an email to your email address that will recover this email that you forgot your password for or forgot the email. And then it says your birthday. You can enter any birthday and day and year. And then gender. You can ask why we ask for this information or next. Once you fill out that information, it will bring you to this, Google, privacy and terms. To create a Google account, you'll need to agree to the terms of service below. In addition, when you create an account, we process your information as described in our privacy policy, including these key points. Data we process when you use Google, blah, 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 blah. 
It'll say things like we use um, kinds of information described above when you use apps or sites that use Google services like ads, analytics, and the YouTube video player. And you should read this. And before you um, click I agree, click more options. And then you can do this. Once you're doing done doing that, click I agree. Unless you don't agree, obviously, but I do. And then your Gmail will be created. RonnieJ974 at gmail.com. Now that's my email. So when I go to my Gmail, what you basically have to do is just type in gmail.com. You don't even have to type in .com. Just click, G just type in Gmail. And I'll show you this. Gmail by Google. Click on it. And then it will take you to mail.google.com slash mail slash you slash zero slash hashtag inbox. And it'll say welcome. Email by Google. Simple, smart, secure. Choose a view. You can do default, comfortable, or compact. So default is where there's not many um, emails smushed together. Comfortable is it's just spaced out like that. Compact is there are a lot of emails squished together. I'll choose default and then click OK when you're done choosing your options. What you can do is go to social. It'll show you um, some things. And it'll give you some emails like that I just clicked on. Promotions. It'll give you some offers and stuff. And primary, where you get all your emails. So if someone um, sent you an email, then um, it will pop up here, and you click on it, probably. And then somewhere over here, usually, there will be a reply button or a forward button. So you can reply to that person or forward the email to someone. You can also compose an email or send a message or send an email to someone. You can type in their um, email. Once you type in their email... Then you have to click the subject. You have to type in the subject. What are you talking about? And then send your message over here. And then after you do that, there will be a send button right about over here. And then your email will be sent. It'll probably say email has been sent. And then there will be about it. I think there will be an undo button over here so you can undo it. There's a draft right over here. If you um, don't save it or send it, I mean, then it'll take you to, a, it'll save it as a draft because you didn't send the email. Now, if you don't want the draft, then click this and then click discard drafts. If you want to delete an email, click the square. Or if you want to delete all emails, select this and then click delete. Now be careful which one you want to delete because you can't do, you can't undo it after some time. So you can undo it right now, but after 30 days, when it, it gets removed from the trash and automatically get, gets deleted permanently. So once you click this and then click that trash can button, since you only have, since I right now I only have one. One email that I deleted. It'll say delete forever. It'll delete forever, permanently. You can't get it back. So you want to be careful on that. And over here is your chats. Over here, you can talk to someone. What you can basically do is enter an email. Once you enter an email, it'll basically show this. So you click here and then enter an email. I entered an email and now I'm going to send an invite. So what basically happens is the person I sent the invite to, that email, yeetmcfeet8 at gmail.com, they have to accept the invite to chat with me. Basically, this is a Hangouts part. By Google. This part is by Google Hangouts where you can talk to people using Hangouts. You could also go to Hangouts 
you could search it up, or you can do hangouts.com. And it'll bring you to a random thing, so I wouldn't want to do that. But you can go to hangouts.google.com, and it'll take you to the actual Hangouts thing. It'll say this, Google Hangouts, messaging, voice, and video calls. Messaging a friend or start a group conversation. Connect anytime with video calls. Stay in sync across your devices. So you can video call someone, phone call someone, or message someone. And here it shows my invitation that I sent to yeetmcfee8 at gmail.com. So if we go back to Gmail, you can go to starred, where you have um, starred your messages. You can star them by clicking the star. That means they're important to you. So you can go to star and see your messages. Right now, I have no starred messages. So right now, nothing's showing. Snooze. That means you have decided to snooze it right now. There is no message or email in my um, inbox. Snooze is... I need to move this to, you can move, um, you can move the trash, things in the trash to the, um, the inbox again. Now, this is spam. You can check, you can mark spam on your emails. And this is like all mail, scheduled, chats, important. And then you can go less. Drafts, I said, Sent, it's meant, um, emails you composed or sent. Snoozed, as I was saying, you can do it just like you started. But I moved it back to inbox and I unstarted. So if you move it to snooze, I mean, if you want to snooze it, then you click here. Snooze until later today, tomorrow, next week, or next weekend, or pick a date and time. So that's pretty much it. And then you can set up your e Gmail. Let's choose a theme, import contacts and mail, get Gmail for mobile, change profile image, learn how to use Gmail. So that's a lot of stuff right here. There's also tasks, keep, and calendar. You can also add add-ons. You can go to settings, go to select input tool, input tools on and off, older, newer, help or support, or Google Apps. That's not part of Gmail, but it's part of your Google. And then that's pretty much it, I'd say. On Hangouts, you can also create a new group. You enter a bunch of emails, and you can name your group even. But I'd say that's pretty much it. So that is how you create an email. If you want to, by the way, if you want to go get more apps, or go to more apps, click this. You can go to account, you can go to search, you can go to map, you can go to news, you can go to play, you can go to YouTube, you can go to Gmail, you can go to me, you can go to contacts, you can go to translate, you can go shopping, you can go duo, you can go calendar, you can go drive, you can go photos, you can go finance, you can go docs, you can go sheets, you can go blogger, you can go books, you can go slides, you can go hangouts, you can go keep. You can go Jamboard, you can get collections, you can, you can get Earth, you can get Classroom and Arts and Culture, and more from Google. Which I don't want to talk about right now, because I'm tired of talking. So that's pretty much it. If you like this video and got a lot of help from it, from, from it, please like, subscribe, and share this video. Thank you guys, I really appreciate what you've done for me. If you haven't done anything or subscribed or anything, you better subscribe. So please, thank you for watching. See you next time on Dream Projects. Subscribe to Dream Family Travel, by the way. It'll help. Bye. Thanks for watching.